this problem, we're told to answer the question, does the function satisfy the hypotheses of the mean value theorem on the given interval? We're given this function here, f of x equals x over x plus 4, and this interval, a uh, closed interval from 1 to 8. So let's see which of these is um, applicable. So let's see, is this function continuous or not? Well, if you look at this, um, we have a number over a number, so a variable. So the bottom cannot be 0, but if we look at our interval here, no matter what number we plug in, it's all gonna it's gonna give us a number. It's not gonna be does not exist because these numbers aren't gonna make this uh, be zero. So it's continuous. And is it differentiable? Yes, it's differentiable. So now that we know that, uh, we know that uh, it's continuous and it's differentiable on one day because we could dif uh, differentiate this and all these values would fit. So this is gonna be the answer to that one. Well, let's move on to the next one. So if it satisfies the hypotheses, find all numbers c that satisfy the conclusion of the mean value theorem. So in order to solve this, we're going to use this formula. f of b minus f of a over b minus a. And we're going to solve for a value. So let's go ahead and do that. So what's a and what's b? Well, our interval is going to be a and b. So 1 is going to be a and b is going to be 8. So let's solve this. So f of b, so we're just going to take 8 and plug it into this. So if we do that, we'll get 8 over 8 plus 4, so 8 over 12. We have 8 over 12. Then we're going to minus when we plug in 1. So if we plug in 1, we'll get 1 over 1 plus 4, so 1 over 5. And so on the bottom, we're going to get 8 minus, because b is 8, and then minus a, which is 1. So 7 on the bottom. Well, let's simplify this so we can actually get it. So we'll have 8 over 12 minus 1 over 5. We want the denominators to be the same, so we can multiply this by 5 and this by 12. So we multiply this by 5. 5 times 8 is 40, so 40 over 60. Minus, and we multiply this by 12, so 12 over 60, we're going to get 28 over 60, and then we can divide both of these by 4, and we'll get 7 over 15. So let's erase all this, and we'll rewrite it up here. So from that, we got 7 over 15. So let's simplify this, so we can do 7 over 15 times 1 over 7, copy dot flip, and... This is going to be equal to 7 over 15 times 7. These will cancel, so we just get 1 over 15. So now we got 1 over 15. What we want to do is find the derivative of our function and set it equal to this and solve for x. So we have f of x equals x plus x plus 4. So let's find the derivative. So f prime of x is going to be equal to, so we're going to use the quotient rule. So on the bottom, we're going to have x plus 4 squared. On top, we're going to have the derivative of x, which is 1. I'm not going to write it, though. And we multiply it by the bottom, so x plus 4 minus uh, just our top. And then the derivative of the bottom is just 1. Because we just do 1, so it's 1. So we have x plus 4 minus x, so it's going to be equal to 4 over x plus 4 squared. Cool. Now what we want to do is set this equal to this. So we have 4 over x plus 4 squared equal to 1 over 15. Now, in order to get these both 1 on top to make it easier to solve, what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 1 over 4. So when you do that, you're going to get, this will become 1, so we'll have 1 over x plus 4 squared is equal to 1 over 60. So that means we just have this equals this. So x plus 4 squared is going to be equal to 60. So let's uh, expand this out. So x plus 4 times x plus 4. We're going to use the FOIL, so x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x, so plus 4x. 4 times x is plus 4x, and then 4 times 4 is 16. So we're going to get x squared plus 8x plus 16. And we're setting this equal to 60. And so let's minus 60 from both sides. So x squared plus 8x, and then this is going to become minus 44, and then we're setting it equal to 0. So this is going to be hard to factor, so let's use the quadratic equation. And so the quadratic equation tells, tells us that minus b, or that 0 is going to be equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So in this equation, a is going to be equal to 1, b is going to be equal to 8, c is going to be equal to minus 4, 44. So let's plug in all our things. So minus b. So if b is 8, so minus 8 uh, plus or minus the square root 
of if we do b squared, it's going to be 64 minus 4 times uh, a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 44. And then on the bottom, we're just going to have 2 times a, which is 1. So if we simplify this, we're going to get minus 8 uh, plus or minus the square root of 64 minus 4 times minus 44, which gives you 240. And then this is actually not supposed to be 1. It's 2 times 1, so it's just 2. And so now that we got it like this, what we can do is simplify. So what we got to do is simplify uh, rad 240. And so I'm going to do this up here. So this is just going to become minus 8 plus or minus. And then rad 240 we can do is the same thing as 15 times 4. Then we'll just take out a 2. So it's going to be uh, 4 uh, rad 15. And then we'll have minus 8 plus or minus 4 rad 15. And then what we want to do is divide by minus 2. So if we divide by minus 2, or just 2, not minus 2, this is going to become minus 4 plus or minus 2 rad 15. So we have it like this, but uh, we need to realize that if we do minus, this is going to be a negative number, so it doesn't fit in our interval. So it can only be minus 4 plus 2 rad 15. So the answer to this is going to be minus 4 plus 2 rad 15. So these are going to be the answers to this problem.